As Europeans looked westward toward this new continent, there was naturally an excitement, a curiosity, perhaps to some extent an anxiety about what the continent contained. There was no rattlesnake, for example, in England or France, and thus its discovery here in the New World was, was a matter of excitement and great interest. New things from the New World. Shells, plant specimens, animals, and birds all would be sent back to the mother country, England, for study. And from England, there soon came settlers. Charleston is really very much part of what we call plantation society. And at the heart of it was the development of these large-scale agrarian enterprises. So I think life was always challenging for Charleston residents, no matter um, race or station in life. What archaeology can do via the anthropology is provide a context that explains why these particular people were important. Charleston is very much part of the uh, international community. And it's amazing to me how much we do have and amazing to see what people value. In the donations that come to the history collection at the museum, we have heirlooms that have been passed down and saved because they are special. And what we dig up out of the ground are the things that were not special, that were discarded and abandoned without much thought to them. So that we sort of have the other side of the story. A story that is rich with the everyday and the exotic. The story of Charleston the South Carolina Lowcountry, and America's first museum, the Charleston Museum.